Hey guys, it's Eric with Casual Car Talk. Today we're going to talk um, mass air, not mass airflow sensors, because that's not what we have on the Focus SD. Um, absolute pressure sensors, so MAP sensors. We have three of them on here. I'm going to show you all three. Get ready to pay $10 a screw if yours are rusted out, because that's what Ford charges, and I can't find them at hardware stores. If I'm wrong, hit me up with a, a, a comment, because I'd love to save money next time. Hopefully no next time. Um, but yeah, this will throw all sorts of engine codes, and uh, it's a good way to go through and check. It's really easy to clean them. Make sure you use... Uh, uh, MAF sensor cleaner or MAP sensor cleaner. But uh, anyway, we'll get started. Um, and there are three of them. Uh, I don't know what all the differences are. I just replaced this one. And this screw right here was $10 from Ford. Um, you cannot find these. I went to Ace Hardware, Menards. I tried to find a screw that was the right size, had some employees help. I couldn't find something that threads in right that actually keeps this secure. And if this is loose, you'll start throwing engine codes. So a lot of times this will be your culprit. This connection might be loose, um, but typically this will be a little bit loose. Might have to tighten that a little. Don't over torque these because that's metal on plastic. So when it gets snug, stop. Don't keep going. You will strip that out pretty good. Uh, the next one is a MAP T sensor, I believe. This one looks a little bit different. Um, I can show you the difference between the two because I'll be replacing that as well. All right, this so the difference sensor. between these two sensors. Here's the old one. Um, you can see it's just got like a little cage around the sensor here, it looks like. And again, that's absolute pressure or airflow. It's a basically cheaper way of measuring airflow from everything I understand. Um, doesn't look terrible, but uh, this is the old one. I'm throwing a coat. I don't know exactly where it's coming from. And honestly, this car's a 13 in Minnesota with all the salt, so worth replacing. So that's one I just swapped out. And you can see the part number. Sorry. Uh, Bravo Victor 61-9 Foxtrot 479-AA. Alpha, alpha. So that's the part number for the top one if you're ordering from Ford. This one, the part number will be um, Alpha Golf 91-9 Foxtrot 479-Alpha uh, Dash Charlie. So this one looks a little bit different. You can see it's kind of like a little nub compared to this one. So they are different. All three are not the same, contrary to what the forums and Facebook will tell you. Um, and these are really easy to take off. They just have a little screw right here. Little screw right here. There's little Torx bits. Um, not hard. The last one you have to take the front or uh, the passenger side headlight out. So the last sensor is right on top of the intercooler. You can see it parked right in there, right on top. So right here is that sensor. And so there's a screw right here. Um, that's the one I had off my ST intercooler, and it wasn't really working great. So I got a new screw for that as well. And then you can see the. Uh, that it's just plugged in right off the back a little tricky but you can fit your hand in there if you're like me with small hands uh lucky for a mechanic and uh that's it those are the three hit me up if you got any questions and uh hopefully this clears out the code uh one last thing make sure you disconnect your your battery uh always the negative side comes off first so be careful i took them both off because there was a ton of corrosion on these so I poured a little baking soda on them and I'm uh, wiping them off really good. And I discovered that my battery terminal post is actually sticking up a little bit. And uh, I don't like that.